Hey everyone, really quick before you watch the video, just a quick reminder, I stream over on Twitch, Sunday to Wednesday, links are in the description, make sure you come and check us out. Well, first things first, I just need to get out the cave. Then I can just go town map. Fly back. There you are, welcome back. Congratulations on finding the max mushrooms. Trial 2 was no problem for you. All my students getting lost in the forest. Turns out finding max mushrooms was the least of their problems, but it's a shame. I guess everyone of it will fail the trial. Well, first thing, a proper meal. Let's have the max room made into a max, uh, delicious max soup, shall we? I've really outdone myself this time. Now what's left is at those lovely mac soups you brought us, as mac mushrooms brought, brought us. Please wait. What's good to you? I've never seen you in such a flutter. I got some mac mushrooms too. Nice work. You must have searched hard for those. That makes you the second person to pass the second trial. This is a cause for celebration. I want you to use my max mushrooms in the soup. I really want to share my hard work with everyone here. Yeah. Don't feel the fun is being stolen, but we're a family here and family share, so we go ahead and use it today. It's rare for her to try so hard, I really want to reward that. You understand, don't you? You can hold on to the max mushrooms you found. Put them to good use. Don't worry, you've totally passed the trial of flying colours. Think of those max mushrooms as an extra reward. We'll probably be using them, turn them into a max soup, and give one of our Pokemon the ability to Gigantamax. Soup's arm. Famous max soup at the Master Dojo. Time to dig in. You see, when one drinks the Dojo's famous max soup... You'll feel Dynamax energy whirling up from you inside. No, you don't think that kind of thing happens to humans in soup? But it's a bit different to when certain Pokemon drink the soup. You see, there are some Pokemon that have a distinct potential. And when they drink the soup, their Dynamax form will change into a Gigantamax form. I kept one of our lads in the kitchen on soup duty from now on too. So you can ask him to uh, serve a fresh bowl of Max soup whenever you need. Now then, let's wrap things up. You all did your best in the second trial, and I'm proud of everyone here. And last but not least, thanks for the soup, honey. Thank you for the soup. Ikitakimasu. By the way, meet me in my room when you have a moment. Now, we do, later on, want to get some more Max Mushrooms for later in the story, but I'll be back to you once we've done with the main story, so I'll probably pick up some more Max uh, Mushrooms generally anyway. I must have to have it in the evolution state. Okay. Yep. Uh, my own pretty recycling. Uh, maybe later. We'll get that side. Another thing I want to do real quick. Uh, restore my Pokemon's health. Bam. We're almost at the part where we're ready to go back to main story stuff. Because it's after this trial is where we get the Pokemon I'm wanting. 
There you are, thanks for coming. So what's this about, Master? Well, I decided that you two will now take the Master Jojos as final last ultimate fur trial. What's that? So basically, this is the last trial. That's the gist of it. You two are the only ones to succeed to finish the f uh, second trial. Push each other to greater heights and help each other grow. So it's today to finally see who's stronger in a Dynamax Pokemon battle. It's the last trial. The rules are simple. Whoever wins completes the trial. The winner will be granted the secret armor of the Master jo Dojo. The battle will be held in the battle court outside. It counts as a power spot so you can Dynamax to your heart's content. <sighs> Maybe you've awo uh, woken some kind of passion and drive and I only hope that motivation isn't put towards something mischievous. Okay. Squirtle is actually the perfect Pokemon to start with here. Let's do a quick save of the game. You're here. When I beat you, I'll get the secret armor. Then I'll become a poison type gym leader. As I've got to win no matter what. I'm going to go all out and totally beat you. You ready? Looks like two of you are ready. Good luck. Chewing you both on. All right, you two. Take your places. The Master Dojo's final trial, ready. And go! I'm not on a single back anymore. Time to uh, settle this fair and square. Or maybe watch your step. Looks like some toxic spikes somehow got on the battle court. That's fine. Ooh, level 23. As long as he can take a hit. Poison Fang. Critical hit, one HP. Rapid spin. He did his job. <laughs> Let's see, who shall we send out for a quick little thing? Let's send out you, because I want to get a Shinx anyway. New Vault Fire of Understone, because one of the things I want to do is I know it's a waste, but to help, I want to revive him now. Just had the train season one. Uh, not really. Oh, poisoned. When you say season one, the games weren't seasonized. Seasons is shows.
Paralyzed. Now, we should be able to go in for the kill. There we go. Wants to learn Water Pulse. Teach him it over Water Gun. About to send out Weezing. Poison. What's Poison weak to again? I want to say Psychic? Could be wrong. Oh, this one's part fairy. Oh, that's good, because seal also works. Why is Halgrim a squirtle? Uh Hang in there, you've got this. No, you don't. Yeah, Squirtle, because uh, Blastoise is like one of his favorite starters. So it's one of the reasons I came here. I wanted to pick up a Squirtle and I knew immediately I was calling it a Helgrim. Right, there goes the Poison Fairy type. There you go, Helgrim's level 16. That means after this battle, he will evolve. Swapping into Wallopede. Time for us to swap into Rach. Still has a fourth Pokemon. Which I believe is a lowland slowbro. That's poison psychic. Algrim's level 18, wants to learn protect. Sure, we'll teach you over tackle. So poison's weak to psychic. But since it's part psychic, it will counterbalance. Maybe dark. See, either that, I just go in with him and just go hard hitting. <laughs> Now let's go. Let's go in all in. I ain't letting it all go as uh, to the bitter end. How can I make you name a Pokemon to me? Well, if there's a particular Pokemon, a bit how the naming system works, we do it one of a few ways. You can. There's the stream loop cards we use. If I find a Pokemon that I think best suits you, um, then I'll just name it after you. Um, and the third and final way is if you want to be put in the role to be named after a Pokemon at random, you can do exclamation mark name, and it will just put your name into a pool. Um, but that just means you'll just get a random Pokemon being named after you. Um, Max Flare. So like the Squirtle I named Helgrim because I thought it best suited him. We'll see, it also comes down to what goes on my team and stuff. I want to be an Eevee. Is it as a flexible to as a, as is it flexible to anything? I mean, if I do get an Eevee on my team, it's most likely going to end up being a Numbreon. A boy. Mm 
You have the same plushie? Cool enough. <laughs> My channel's colors are based off Shiny Umbreon. Max Flare! Oh shit, I just realized he did a water move, didn't he? Oh, are we dead? No. We can take a hit. But this is going to be a constant back and forth. So. Uh oh. Strengthened in the rain. Oh, this could be the end of Rage. It is. No. But that's also her three turns of Dynamax done. So, time to go in with Sceptile. Groval, sorry. Sceptile's the third evolution. Astonish! Or now, sorry, you pronounce the word. And finish the job. If I didn't hold back, I'd give it everything I got. $3,000, woo! Squirtle's evolving! Well, Helgrim's evolving. He's becoming a war turtle! Congratulations, he evolved into a war turtle. The victor has been decided. The one who completed the first trial is Loomis. That was amazing. He's a little chubby now. Oh, wait till he becomes a Blastoise. What a fierce battle. Well, well done. You both gave it your all. I totally lost. Well, this stinks. I'll do everything, even cheat a little and still lost. I didn't expect a young, talented kid like you to really get it, but I was re really trying, you know, as hard as I could. Maybe it's time for me to just give up on my dream of being a gym leader. Once they find out what I did, I'll be expelled from the dojo anyway. Can you tell the master that I cheated? I won't. But why? It was supposed to be a fair battle, I cheated. That's your strength. Kindness towards both your Pokemon and your rivals. I should apologize on her behalf too as a master. What she did was wrong, but she didn't want to be beaten by her rival, that's all. She's a good, hard-working student. As your punishment, you got to look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months by yourself. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of work, but is that all? Of course, you work on strengthening your heart. Okay. Things are settled here. Proud of you both, you mustered uh, so much effort to try so hard. I got so teared up that I, could, I couldn't even see half the battle. Hey, Mega, how you doing? As a quick reminder to everyone, by the way, during our Pokemon playthrough, you can, if you want to, buy some of our limited edition Pokemon merch. They come in black for all, as for all, just normal. But then the other four colors that are available, you can get it in red, blue, green, and yellow to represent the first generation Pokemon games. So as you can rep your game while you rep the limited edition merch, I'm repping red because red was my first ever one and also Charmander was my favorite starter of the first generation. Loomis, you gave it your best and triumphed even when you faced an unfair challenge. To you, as who's completed all the trials, I grant the secret armor of the Master Dojo. It'll take some time to prepare, so go ahead and get things sorted. That's all going as you were. Loomis. Alright, well...
You're really strong. Yeah, you can go that by doing exclamation mark merch or exclamation mark limited will take you right to the store. Boom, boom. There you are. I was keeping this old man waiting, hmm? Did you complete all three trials? I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Now then, come on out! Kapu! So literally all we need to complete our Isle of Armor Pokédex is evolving this guy. Hence why on the stream loose cards, this is one of the guys that's immune from being as uh, from being released. This Pokemon, in fact, is the secret arm of the Master Jojo. Say hello to Kupfu. I know, I know, it's tiny. But raise it with diligence and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle. It's just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one is priced to the amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. But it doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So I was thinking, maybe if it joins you in your adventures, that'll help it break out of its shell a bit. So, take good care of Kupfu. He's in your hands. Now, believe it or not, we actually are almost done with the Isle of Armas DLC storyline completely. Kung Fu became your Pokemon! Uh, we would like to give him a nickname. Maybe not right now? Now then, the first thing you need to do is become best friends with Kung Fu. You need to build trust. Kung Fu can really change it as, as it really has a chance to explore the world outside the dojo. Maybe I'll help you become better friends if you have a look around. Maybe take a spot at the great views of the Isle of Armour. I'll have my students selling in all good spots to keep an eye out. Of course, having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly towards each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hereby grant you permission to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokeball here on the Isle of Armour. You can now let Pokemon as the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take a stroll. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together. Go and take a stroll with Kupfu, why don't you? Once your best buddies, it will start Kupfu's training in earnest. Just stop by and let me know once you think you're ready. Imagine Kupfu slapping you while you're greeting him. <laughs> hey, Kupfu! Okay, <laughs> Pokemon. It's the box. Because Kupfu needs to come on the team. Pro how very far I've still got far to go, dude. So we're probably gonna go pop cup through on over the Shatini. But Tang's kinda useful. So, Isle of Armour DLC, which is the one I'm in right now, there's actually not that much left to it. Like, literally, you got to go and become good friends with Cub Fu, but then you've got to get Cub Fu to evolve, which is like level 70. Um, and then you can kind of slowly progress towards the end of the DLC. But because it's level 70, it's why we're picking it up now. When it comes to the other DLCs, um, the Crown Tundra, we barely started because we gained access to the Max Lair, which is how I've got my legendaries. But when it comes to base story, we've only just got our third badge today. So yeah. Still a little bit to go. But now, with the Cub through acquired... We are going back to here. Oh, lie. I was hoping to find a Shinx while I was there. I may do a bit of looking for it online. 
So you've got plenty of time to buy a shirt. Well, don't forget, the shirt's available for the entire selection of playthroughs. So Pokemon Sold, the first one we're doing. Right, well, I think I'm... Uh, I should be able to upgrade my bike. So I've still got a few other Pokemon games to go through. Like, I'm still planning on doing a Fire... Uh, my first ever randomizer Nuzlocke, which is Fire Red. Is it you I talk to? Nope. Prove my bike. Prove my bike. The remake of Red, yes. So the one that includes Johto and Hoenn Pokemon in it. And then on top of that, I've got a few other Pokemon games. So there's still plenty of time. Uh, now keep in mind, this playthrough could take... It's probably going to take the course of a good few months, Mega. Down to the fact of the amount of games I plan to play, but also the games I, I'm planning on playing in between. So, like, don't forget, I've got... Um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla I want to play at some point when the viewership dies down a little bit. Um, um, I'm also going to want to play at some point um, the new Kingdom Hearts game that's coming out, if not already out. Whoop. Tell you one thing we're actually going to do real quick. Make our way over here, so we can look at it as a fly point later. There we go. And obviously, when we eventually um, get round to doing um, Valhalla, we'll be bringing back the Assassin's Creed Limited merch for a uh, small brief time. For just the run of Valhalla. Gym Challenger, allow me to check your gym badges. The Grass Badge, the Water Badge, and the Fire Badge. It confirms that you defeated the three gym leaders, including as the, as the leader of Monstroke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Jew, I doubt hope will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way you could look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Here, look at the badges I've already won. Confirm you have the required badges. I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Dick. I'm a lock. Kill him. 